I'd like to show you part of my coin collection. Now I keep them in this nice box because, well, these are nice coins. These are actual silver dollars. But more importantly, I want to show you something they can do. So the coins go into the box, but whenever I need to, I can extract one and with just a snap, have it appear outside of the box. Now, if that actually happened, there should just be three coins left inside. I'll explain how I did that. Now, you saw the coins go into the box, and they do go into the box. What you didn't see is that they come out of the bottom of the box. So you can hear them inside, and they are inside. But with just a little bit of magic, I can extract one of those coins straight through the bottom. Now, if that actually happened, there should just be two coins left inside. But I think we can take this to another level. So we'll put those two back in the box. You saw them come through the bottom. I wonder if they can go through the bottom and through my hand with just a tap. Now, if that actually happened, there should just be one coin left in the box. But I think we can take this to another level. So let's put the coins back into the box. You saw them go through the bottom. You saw them go through my hand. I wonder if they can go all the way through the table. So through the bottom, through the table, and down below into my hand. Let's try it. Sure enough, all four coins through the bottom and through the table into my hand. But I think we can take this to another level. Let's put all the coins back inside. You saw them go through the bottom. You saw them go through the table. You saw them go through my hand. What if we did all of this without the lid? You'll see the moment the coins penetrate through the bottom and through the table visually without the lid, no cover, just a press and there. Well, that's even better. The solid box goes through the table and uh, you can check everything out for yourself. Hello, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm really excited about today's video because if you know me at all, you know that I love the Okido box and Okido box magic. That's why I'm super excited to talk about the M box 2.0 from TCC magic. Now this comes as a luxury set in a beautiful magnetic closed wooden box where you get the M box 2.0, the slot box M box, the Sokito, which is a solid Okido box, and the mini M box. These are also sold individually in their own separate packages, and the sets come in dollar size and half dollar size. So I first want to talk about what you get in the luxury set, which is uh, all the boxes together in this beautiful wooden case. Now here I have the half dollar set. So you get the standard M box, a slot box M box, a Sokito box, which is a completely solid box, solid slug of brass there. And then this little mini M box and uh, <laughs> this beautiful case to keep everything stored in. Uh, they've really spared no detail on this and it's just exudes luxury here. I, I'm super impressed as I unpacked all of this. So this is what comes in the luxury set. Now uh, you can get each of these boxes individually on the website and if you order them individually they come in their own little box like this as part of the artisan coin series. So a similar box to all of that. Now here I ordered one of the dollar size M box 2.0s and it's just a, a nice hard cardboard box. It comes in a, a nice velvet bag. And again, this is the standard M box, but 
in dollar size. So I got the, the full set with half dollars, but I wanted one in dollar size. So I could kind of compare everything for you guys. Now there's a lot that could be said about all of this, but to, to begin, I want to just uh, analyze the, the quality of materials here. And these are some of the best boxes I've ever handled. Uh, I'll say that right off the bat. The quality here is outstanding. These, these boxes are thick and chunky, uh, especially the dollar box. Uh, you can get dollar boxes at, at other places, but it, the thinness is noticeable. On the M box, it's just really, really heavy and it feels really nice. Same with the half dollar box. The quality of the materials and, and the way they handle, uh, it's, it's unbelievable for the price you're getting this for. And in addition to that, uh, if you choose to get the luxury set, the case itself, it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful walnut wood. Uh, it's not cheap or lightweight. It's got the magnetic closure. So you can keep these boxes nice when they're not in use. So that was a little bit about the, the quality of the material of, of these boxes and my first impressions there. Next, I want to talk about just the look and the design of the boxes. And my first impression on that was, uh, I think these are so good looking and I think there needs to be a distinction made because in 2015 or so, Jimmy Fan, uh, the creator, the designer of the M box, he put out the first version, which is not the same as these. This is Mbox 2.0. And I remember at the time, there's maybe some slight controversy with Craig Austerling's boxes, because there is a slight similarity with the, the darkened brass here and the rings. But, uh, and I could see that argument being made on version one. But with version 2.0, um, this is a different box entirely. And I'll get into that uh, after I, I talk more about the look of these. But the look integrates into the functionality of the box. So uh, it works together like it, this is just a good looking box. But that ties into the way that it functions. So. Bottom line is any Okido box will do the same thing. They can all do the same tricks. Uh, some things might be easier if your box is heavier or lighter. Uh, so in terms of what the box does, there's no difference there. But how this looks, I think this looks different than other boxes with the darkened brass and the rings. And I think it's a, a very attractive box and uh, I love it so far. Now I want to get into the, the design and the functionality, like I mentioned. So this is unlike any box that is out there now. Um, there's a couple of boxes that have attempted to do what this does, but this does it way better. So a few years back, there was the Opongo box by Juan Rubiales and uh, a little while ago, a box came out called the Non Box, and both of those functioned as your standard Okido box and a Boston box at the same time. And that's what this does. But this does it so much better and more efficiently. There's no additional pieces to accomplish this. Uh, it's all here. So, uh, like I mentioned, the, the look of this box actually disguises the the function so uh in simple language this is a standard okito box and it's a boston box at the same time you can you can turn on the function or turn it off so to speak so uh there's nothing like this out there and it is so awesome <laughs> and it's all hidden in plain sight within the design of the box so this can be handed out and the spectator won't know 
what they're looking at at all. Uh, it's so genius and so well done that uh, I'm blown away by these boxes. Now some other major points about the functionality, uh, things that I look for, uh, my preferences in a box. And this, this ticks all the boxes, so to speak. <laughs> One thing being the loose lid principle. So I like a box to make a little noise with the lid as it's empty. And during certain routines, you could give the impression that there's coins inside when there actually is not coins inside because the, the lid fits loosely onto the box. So this has that. Another thing is the actual depth of the lid. Uh, something that's very beneficial to have is when the box is full and you want to dump the coins out, but hold one back. The lid is just deep enough and not deeper than one coin. So it makes that particular move very easy and, and there's no fuss. You can't mess it up because the lid is perfectly to the depth of one coin. And then another major point, uh, one of the classic moves that's needed to be done with the Okita box is this, this dropout move. Uh, if you, if you know what I'm talking about. So the weight of this box is perfect for that to automatically happen. Uh, some boxes, if they're too light, you have to make the move happen a little bit, but this, this is so chunky and, and heavy. The move happens automatically for you. So, uh, that's great as well. The other great thing is that they've built this to hold a turtle. So you can have four coins and a turtle and that's useful for many other routines. Not all boxes will accommodate a turtle. And then that brings me to the, the main functionality of this box where it can be a standard box and then it can turn into a, a Boston box whenever you want. So instead of your standard Boston box where there's a visible space for to put something, that's not there on this. You can show the box all around and then you can dump your four coins out. And then when you need to, that box can appear to be full of coins because They've created that space for the turtle. And without going into too much detail, there's not technically a recess there, but there's a space for the turtle to sit on, if that makes sense for you. So uh, that Boston box can be there, and then it can be gone in a second. As you're going through a, a routine and showing the coins, and now it's a standard box. So if you've understood what I'm saying and understood what I just did, uh, this is a game changer, in my opinion, for Okido box magic. Now I want to talk briefly about the tutorial that you'll get with the, uh, whether you get one box or the whole set. Uh, it's, it's typical TCC quality. Uh, this is Jay Wang on the tutorial. He's got a great routine you'll learn that uses the functionality of the box and, and you'll need a turtle. Uh, it's a great, a great routine to learn. Uh, he's told me they don't yet have, uh, tutorials for the slot box, but they plan on putting more videos up there. And, uh, but in addition to his routine, he's got a, a bunch of cool moves that he'll show you and a variation to the routine as well. And I've, I've used some of those ideas in my performance that you saw. So as far as the price of this set goes, uh, for the dollar set, the luxury set, that's going to be 179.90. And then on the half dollar luxury set, it's 159.90. And then, like I said, you can get each box individually if you'd like. And those prices are $64.90 on just the M box in dollar size. 
and then in half dollar it's $59.90. But I encourage you to go to the website and look at all the options they have. There's every single option you can look at. And right now the prices are, you can see a higher price that's striked out and then the current price now. I don't know when the prices will go up, but right now they are available at, at the lower price. So I encourage you to explore tcc.com, tccmagic.com and look at the prices for yourself because there's so many options. Uh, I have them here, but uh, you can look for yourself and compare to everything else out there. And I wanted to talk about where does this set sit in terms of other boxes out there. So in my opinion, the top of the line, the, the Cadillac, the Ferrari of Okido boxes would be Craig Austerling. He's a, he's an artist, he's a craftsman, and he, he makes every box by hand and it will take a few weeks to get your own box from him. And at different times, he may be completely busy and unavailable. So you're paying for what you get with Craig Austerling. Uh, I can't specifically quote his prices to you because that may be based on a customer to customer uh, basis. But as far as quality, the look and what you get, uh, Craig Austerling is the top of the line. So we can start there and move down. And I would include Copeland Coins in there, the higher to mid-level box. I was involved in putting that set together and, and having input on the design and everything there. That is a fantastic set of coin boxes there. And then below that you have maybe the Buddha boxes from Chaz Pro Ma Magic. I would put them at, at the, the best quality, most affordable. I'm not going to say they're the cheapest because they're good boxes, but I'll say the word affordable. But with each of these, you are getting different things. So the Buddha boxes, you can't put an expanded shell in there. Uh, they don't have a loose lid. Uh, the Copeland boxes, they tick all, all the boxes. Craig Austerling's boxes, they tick all the boxes and you can specify what you want there. But this, like I said, it's in a league of its own because of what it can do. Uh, price wise, this sits below Copeland, but some things are similar in price. Some things are more affordable. And then this sits way above the Buddha box, Chaz Pro Magic, or any other box out there uh, at that level. So um, with what you get and what you're able to do, because like I said, this is, is completely different. Uh, it's hard to compare this to Copeland or, or Austerling because they don't have what this is. Those are excellent boxes. And as I mentioned earlier, every Okido box will accomplish uh, mainly the similar same routines, but uh, this opens up stuff that I'm still playing with and I will continue to play with. So all of that said, I think it's a fair price, especially right now when the prices are where they are. But uh, it's up to you to shop around and see what will fit best for you. Now, after playing with these for a couple weeks now, uh, I've been trying to come up with a complaint and I do have one complaint. I do not like this mini M box. Uh, it's about the size of a US nickel and it's so small. I'm, I'm just not going to use this. I don't see myself ever using this. You could maybe come up with a routine where, I don't know, the, the box shrinks down or something like that, but <laughs> it's just too small for me to use. Uh, I wish they had made it at least the size of a, a US quarter or a, 
I think British two pence, two P is about the size of a quarter. And then they haven't included the, you know, what's on the bottom of the standard M box. So, but I think if they made it the size of a quarter, there's some good, uh, expanded turtles for quarters out there. And they could have had the uh, functionality of the regular box. And I don't know why they went so small on this little box, but I don't see myself ever using this. And it's, it's a little bit of a disappointment because it could have been like a really complete set in my opinion, but that's really the only complaint I have on the set as a whole. And I'm still satisfied with the price of it. So uh, I will throw that out there. So lastly, I kind of want to ask the question, you know, who is this for? If you're out there shopping around or you've seen this and you're intrigued, uh, this could be for the beginner. Um, it might, it might be too much of a distraction with wanting to get involved in, in the other functionality of the box. But at the price point, it's, it's within range of other boxes. So, uh, if you like the look of it, it's kind of one of the only ones that looks like this. And I wanted to mention, this is not black paint. Uh, they've chemically treated the brass here so that it's darkened almost to black. When you see it in person, it's like more of a gunmetal gray. So this, this blackness is not going to chip off or anything like that. Uh, so if you like the look of this and you have the money to spend, you can still use this as a standard Okido box and learn all the standard moves if you're just beginning. But this is also great for the Okido box fan like me. Uh, uh, at this price point, <laughs> it's unbelievable what you get. And that I keep saying that it's unbelievable the quality of these. And uh, so it's, it's for the beginner, it's for the intermediate and knowledgeable. Uh, really, it's, it's for everyone. And you can use the functionality or not. It works just like a normal Okita box and that's there if you want to use it. Another important point I should mention is the compatibility of your turtle with this box. And if you go to the website and read all of the information they have, you will see that it's stated there. They make it clear that there's a possibility your turtle may not fit with the box. But I have a turtle from Johnson Products uh, from long ago, from their silver line. I have turtles from Todd Lassen, from Jamie Schoolcraft, from Mark Mason, and from a, an underground guy here in the States. And all of these turtles, they fit on the box. They're from all different makers. And that's where the problem is. All the variants of turtles. And incidentally, the turtle I have from this underground guy, it's an unexpanded turtle. And even that one fits into the, the box. So uh, I'd say most likely the turtle you have now should work. Uh, because of the variety that I've tried on my own box here, uh, there's nothing got stuck. Everything worked properly. And I was actually impressed that the unexpanded one worked as well. That may be due credit to the, the maker of the turtle or that they've taken enough care with the variants in the, the opening here on the bottom. So, uh, I think all that should be said. And if you are interested in this set, just know there's a possibility, uh, your turtle may not work. So that's it for today's video. I hope uh, you found all this information helpful and that maybe I helped guide you towards a decision. And uh, this is a great set of boxes, but it's gonna be up to you to shop around and see what will work best for you. 
But I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed the performance, and uh, I will see you next time.